Hello, beautiful souls. My name is London from This London Bridges, and I am so happy to be reading today. Today's reading will be a quick one centering around the full moon lunar eclipse in Gemini that is coming up this weekend. So today we have three piles. You can choose intuitively. Pile number one, pile number two, or pile number three. There'll be timestamps down in the description and the comments below. Take as much time as you need to choose, and when you're ready, let's get started. Hello, pile number one. Let's see what we have for the lunar eclipse in Gemini. Where might you cultivate a deeper quality of dignity within yourself? When I respect myself, this is my body of regal, receptive readiness. Awesome. So themes, um, themes around our own wings, themes around the solar plexus with the yellow here, themes around our own light, respecting ourselves, respecting the people around us, remembering that we um, give and receive. We're ready to be receptive. Our body is ready to be receptive. That also might have messages of receiving Nourishment, receiving, love, receiving, energizing vibes. So asking yourself so you can take action dance steps on where can you cultivate deeper qualities of dignity within yourself? And, and when I said that, my posture shifted a little bit too. So it can be also in the way that we hold our bodies. Beautiful. Next, our God is supporting the lunar eclipse for you. We have Hathor. I believe that's how you say it, although I'm totally open if that is not the case. Let's see what this card says. Nourishing great mother goddess is the Egyptian mother of all gods and goddesses. Usually, usually portrayed as a cow, she is a sky goddess, the queen of the heavens. The sun emerges from her womb and the moon from her breast. She is the goddess of love, mirth, beauty, and sensual pleasure, as well as the protector... <laughs> as well as the protectress, there we go, of all women. In her other guise, shown here, she's the lady of the night and queen of the underworld. With her lion's head, Hathor assumes the role of destroyer and giver of death. In her leopard skin, she is the goddess of fate and fortune and typifies the ferocity and swiftness of this animal. A night prowler and watcher, Hathor is a strong embodiment of the many sides of existence creator, sustainer, destroyer, she encompasses all. Hathor reminds us that we too must acknowledge all parts of ourselves that we might call destructive is sometimes necessary to allow our creativity, our creativity and compassion to flourish. <laughs> right? I love how the colors are tying in here in this quick reading. Then we have two affirmations to support this lunar eclipse day for you and the energies around it. First we have, I learn from my mistakes and grow wise and strong. This is a body card. Let's see what the back says. Use this gift when you are angry with yourself or other people for having made what you consider to be a mistake. Expectations are often unreasonable, especially the expectation that you can go through life without making mistakes or having to deal with the mistakes of others. Successful people know that mistakes are valuable learning experiences. Yeah, so continuing to hold that dignity, keep your wings open. Right, Hathor has a lot of dignity, and, uh, dignity embodied in this image as well. And for your last affirmation for this lunar eclipse, I am free of pain and suffering, spirit. Use this gift to remember who you really are. Breathe slowly and deeply as you remember that you are soul moving onward and upward. You are not your name. You are not what you do. You are not your body. Visualize beautiful birds removing your pain and suffering with the golden beaks and flying away to drop them all in the vast ocean. Awesome. Thank you so much for listening, pile number one. I am sending you so much love for this lunar eclipse in Gemini and beyond. Connect with you soon. Hello, pile number two. 
let's see some messages for you for the lunar eclipse in Gemini coming up. All right. Ooh, we have an embodied message. If you are able, go ahead and do the steps. It'll feel really nice. Well, it usually does for me at least. All right. Place hands on heart. I'm going to put one hand on my heart so I can hold the card. Breathe. Feel grounded and safe. This is how I quiet my body. This is how I steady my system. So for the lunar eclipse, remembering to tune in, slow down, connect with yourself and your breath, it's really gonna support the energies upon us. For a goddess energy for the, the eclipse, we have, oh my gosh, these are beautiful. I love these cards so much. I am not sure how to pronounce this. I'm not going to lie. Amph amphitrite. Amphitrite. We'll start with that. And if you know, let me know. Amphitrite is the Greek triple goddess in her guise as a ruler of the sea. Her name, used synony synonymously with the ocean by Homer, means the third one who encircles. A moon goddess, Amphitrite retained her, retained her individuality, even under the later Greeks who had her married to Poseidon. She has a special concern for all creatures of the sea and is responsible for the foaming waves. Just as Amphitrite can moderate the winds in the sea, we can learn to calm the waves of our inner storms. So working with water energy for this eclipse, taking a bath if you have access to it, maybe making moon water, um, hydrating for sure, and using your breath to help steady your storm, steady your system. So whatever's coming up for you, that's okay. The waves will keep ebbing and flowing, but coming home to that center of your heart space to guide your energy through the next few days. All right, we have two affirmations for this time. I have faith in the future I cannot see, spirit. Use this gift when you are worried or anxious. So that storm, right? That internal storm. These feelings are usually caused by our attachment to either a particular outcome or to wanting to know exactly how things are going to turn out. Though oracles can predict events with enough clarity to be helpful, we have the power to change our future. How many of your past worries never came to pass? I have faith in the future I cannot see through my breath, through the power of healing with water, we can come back home to that faith. Oops, pardon me for knocking us all around. All right, and for our last affirmation for this lunar eclipse in Gemini coming up, I have all that I need to get what I want. Spirit, beautiful. Let's see what this one says. Use this gift when you believe you lack the time, money, intelligence, education, connections, looks, love, strength, prestige, power, luck, support, courage, patience, or any other resources you need to accomplish your goal. Believe instead that the power of affirmations and positive thinking can help you as much as all of these things combined. Wonderful. All right. Thank you so much, pile number two. Sending you so much love for this full moon lunar eclipse, and I'm excited to connect with you again soon. Hello, pile number three. Let's see what messages we have for the full moon lunar eclipse coming up in Gemini. How will the polarities live in you today? This is how the divine feminine and the divine masculine live together in me today. So we have lots of circle energy coming full circle. We have that um, green for the heart chakra and getting out into nature. And the reminder that we all have feminine, masculine, and other embodied energies within us. So how can you find a little bit more balance within yourself? And also like balance between your heart and your brain balance between your actions and your recharge. For the goddess energy supporting this lunar eclipse, we have the high priestess. 
Let's see. The priestess is the direct representative of the goddess on the earth. She has the direct responsibility for functions that ensure fertility and ongoing creation. Priestesses often were, often were responsible for ensuring rain, for the goddess was the giver of dew and of rain. Which is interesting, these actually also kind of resemble raindrops now. They often tended a sacred flame, the embodiment of the creative spark of life. Cool. The high priestess is the great goddess herself, a universal figure found in such diverse guises as Isis in Egypt, Kuan Yin throughout all of Asia, Athena in Greece, and Rhiannon among the Celts. This goddess is all-knowing and all-wise. She creates life out of herself and bestows life-giving waters. At the time, she at the proper time, she takes life away so that the divine spark in each person may be free to continue on its journey. The high priestess is a reminder of the innate wisdom in each of us. She demands that we connect to the divine spark within and manifest it in the world. Awesome. Connecting to your divinity for this lunar eclipse. Connecting to the naturalness of your divinity. And we have two affirmations to support this time. I am patient in the face of delay and obstacles. Use this gift when you are upset because you or another person is late, stuck in traffic, or when encountering situations that you obviously cannot do anything about at the time. Patience is a great teacher, a sign of maturity and wisdom. If, appro if approached with calm and patience, Difficult situations have a remarkable way of eventually working out. I feel like that's been a big theme for us this year in 2020, and collectively where there's a lot going on that we can't control. So coming home to our patients and while we're there, might as well take that time to embody the divinity within ourselves and balance it out. All right, and then we have, I deserve love and respect because I give them spirit. Use this gift when you feel that you are not getting the love or respect you need and deserve. If you are able to show your love and respect for others, they should do the same for you. It's not egotistical to demand respect. This affirmation can empower you to tell others how you feel in an appropriate manner. And I'm also really just getting the feeling that um, this is a reminder to love and respect ourselves with our inner high priestess energy and our inner divinity. All right, thank you so much for listening. I am sending you so much love for this full moon lunar eclipse in Gemini. Connect with you soon.